okay friends so now let's start with the other formulas of excel so now we will be doing the dates formulas so i am going to sheet number 5 because i have a data over there so let's say you have uh, some data something like this so you have a name of a vendor you have the employee name and instead of employee name let me type the product so this is the product which one of the company has given it to you and on this date you have been given the invoice and this was the invoice number and this is the invoice amount and this is the current date which is 31st august so this data is sent to you by the vendor saying ke i have we have given you some products and this is the invoice sent date and this is the current date okay so now he will do the calculation to check ke how many days has happened and invoice is still pending so what he can do he can write a very simple formula over here he will type equal so let me once again zoom it so over here he will type a formula equal current date that is 31st august 2012 minus invoice sent date so latest date date minus previous date enter so he will get 57 days and now he will drag it from here and he will get the number of days invoice is pending so this is the file which vendor has sent you by putting this simple formula which says ke invoice is still pending and in almost 57 days 53 days and our company policy is and your company policy is you should clear invoice within 50 days correct so now what you will reply to the vendor your company policy is you will clear invoice in 50 days this is the file which vendor is sending you saying boss it's almost 57 days why you have not cleared the payment actual days correct sorry actual days correct 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 so we can reply over here yes our company policy is 50 days but 50 days are the working days so we don't work on saturday and sunday so in this date he has included saturday and sunday so now we will send him another sheet same file with this column saying actual due days now we are sending the file to him with formulas so now i want to do a calculation friends in which i want to calculate days between invoice date and current date but excluding saturday and sunday because we are not working on that day so let me make this little bit small so that we can clearly see so over here i will put a formula with the name network days this is very important formula friends which excludes saturday and sunday from the two dates so over here you will say equal network days and this i will show you little bit in depth okay so equal network days what is asking you start date so here i will say my start date is this that is the invoice sent date comma now is asking me what end date give me end date so i will say 31st august is my end date means this is the current date and you will say close the bracket press enter done so it's 42 days so now you can reply him ke still 8 days you have to wait our company policy is 50 days okay so here you will double click uh, here it is 45 days so still he has to wait for 5 more days clear friends so this way you can use the network days formula to exclude saturday and sunday now over here you might have a question okay ramzan we have excluded saturday and sunday but if there is one let's say holiday like 15th august independence day if you want to remove that then what i should do so simple over here i have a list of holidays as well so 10th july and 13th july was the holiday so if you want to remove so as of now the actual days we are calculating is 42 now what i will do after this f2 i will put comma see what is asking me holidays this is optional correct so i will select complete holiday list so if you have a big list of holiday you can select this i am selecting this and press enter so now it's 40 days previously it was 42 days now it became 40 days clear this is another level now over here you might ask another query 
okay in network days what's happening it's excluding saturday and sunday and if i want to exclude the holiday as well but my company works on saturday or my company uh, is having off of any of the other weekday like monday and tuesday so we'll take a example my company is uh, off that is week of uh, uh, i'm having holiday only on sunday so how do i do that so here you will use a formula of network international formula so over here you will say equal network days and international but over here if you will see you will not get international formula why because this is excel 2007 correct we are working on 2010 so in excel 2007 you will not get network days formula this example now i will show you in excel 2010 where you can exclude sunday as well so let me quickly copy the data i will go here and i am opening excel 2010 and in excel 2010 you will get another formula with the name network days international in which you can exclude the saturday or sunday as well so quickly i have pasted the data from my uh, other sheet and here see i am typing the formula so i'm increasing the size and over here i will type equal network days international can you see this formula so you have equal network days in 7 but this formula networks days international this is not there in 7 so you all are working on 10 right so you will be able to do this so i say equal network days international now friends pay attention again he is asking me start date so i will say start date is what this invoice send date comma now is asking me end date so i will say end date is current date comma see now is what he is asking me he is asking me weekend what is the weekend in your company so i am saying my weekend in my company is only sunday so over here see sunday and sunday the number for that is 11 11 denotes sunday over here so you will just double click on it and you will get 11 11 means sunday correct and you will put comma if you want to put a holiday you can put any holiday if you don't want to put don't put close the bracket and press enter so actually it's 50 days so if you are putting network days formula it's coming how much 40 days but if you are including the saturday as well in your working days then it comes to 50 so if you want to just include saturday or only sunday you have to use a international days formula clear friends any doubt in this great so this was all about the network days formula yes the, um, there you put 11 for sunday correct so can i use it for all combinations of days Or yes yes you can use that no no over here when you say uh, put drop down na hmm. over here it's ask you weekend so you have to select is your weekend is on saturday sunday tuesday so thursday there two consecutive days or one day aha uh -huh. no, no no other combination and all have been given the numbers it's like that the combination they have already given so over here you can't say monday and friday whatever combination they have you have to <laughs> use that but yes can was I, a good question no no you have to use that one only one because they have given only the one option clear so i say excluding over here okay friends so this was all about the network days formula so for the time if we have the date with the times can we make it sorry now we are, i have a sheet which has the uh, incident reported date and incident closed date so hmm. uh, along with the no date, no 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 you can't do that way why is it called network day network day is nothing uh, <laughs> if you want real network in which you are doing networking with your employees means you are engaged most of the time and on saturday sunday you are not engaged with them you are not doing much networking with them it's network days on the days which you are working <laughs> okay friends so now you just do the practice and then we'll start with the other condition that is the if condition we will show you how to use the calculation in if multiple if and how to use and and or in if thank you